This video is brought to you by Daily Objects. I've been using the new 15 inch MacBook Air for a little while now and I wanted to go ahead and share this home setup that I have with you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check this setup out. Starting off with the main machine, which is going to be the base model 15 inch MacBook Air. So this might be the base model, but don't let that fool you into thinking that this is inferior to the other laptops or other MacBooks that Apple has. Over the course of me using this machine, this has done everything I've thrown at it. I've done all my editing on here. I've surfed the web. I did all the daily tasks that I do on a laptop and it's handled everything like a beast. So no issues with that, even though I have the base model here, Again, it's handled everything that I've thrown at it, which just makes it the perfect laptop for this setup. Now, a laptop setup is not complete without a laptop stand. So in front of us today, we do have the Arita laptop stand by Daily Objects. Having a premium metal finish and a nice soft touch material for placing your MacBook on top of it, it leaves your MacBook from not being scratched and it also gives it a nice little design and gives it a nice little tilt for the best viewing angle. Also with that tilt, if you don't go for a monitor with the setup, you can go ahead and use that for using your keyboard, which will just give you a better angle when using that MacBook, which is gonna feel so much better in long typing sessions. Also, this provides a nice area for your laptop to sit on on top of your desk. So obviously the 15 inch MacBook Air does have a very nice and bright display, very nice colors as well. However, you are gonna want a monitor with this setup as well. And the monitor that I went ahead and chose for this setup is gonna be the Samsung Odyssey G3, which is a 24 inch monitor that is capable of 144 Hertz, which you really don't need on this MacBook. But again, it's nice to have the higher refresh rate. Plus it is a 1080p display. It's a matte finish display, which just makes it really nice with bright conditions. However, the colors are not as well as the 15 inch MacBook Air's own LCD display. So you might go for other options, but again, this is the one that I went for. And all of this is held up by a nice single monitor arm that I went ahead and picked up from Amazon. And again, these will all be in the description. As for the peripherals for the setup, I am gonna start off with the mouse, which is gonna be the Logitech MX Master 3S. So this year, this mice has been probably the best one that I've used so far. It doesn't hurt my hand. And for long sessions of using this mice, it's always been a great choice for the past couple of years. For the keyboard, I did go with the Keychron K8 keyboard. So it is a mechanical keyboard. I do have the brand switches inside of it. And again, this is a really nice keyboard to type on. I've had long typing sessions with it. The sound is really nice and the buttons just feel great with this keyboard. Plus, there is an addition of switching from Windows to Mac OS if you really need to use this with a Windows or a Mac device, which always gives you the option of using this with other devices. So you're not just stuck with one keyboard and you also do have switchable buttons for those command and Windows keys. These can always go on top of your desk or you can go ahead and use a nice little desk mat, which is exactly what I have here. So for the desk mat, I am using the Vegan Turf Leather Desk Mat from daily objects, which has been a great desk mat. It has a nice smooth feeling to it. Plus, since it is made from vegan leather, it allows you to clean it very easily from spills. If I do have water on top of it, all you have to do is just wipe it down and that is it. And when you're cleaning this mouse pad, it's also very easy as it doesn't suck anything in since it does have a leather finish to it. The feeling is really nice, the style is really nice, and it feels like an overall very premium mat when using with this setup. So probably the most important part of a setup is obviously gonna be the desk where you place everything on top of, and also the chair that you're using. So as for the chair, I did just go out and pick up a chair from Amazon, which I will link in the description. It had a really nice price and so far it's, it feels really nice. It's the chair that I'm currently sitting on top of and overall it's had a really nice feeling. Plus sitting on it for a couple of hours, it really doesn't hurt my back that much. As for the desk, I did go out and pick up a desk from Ikea. So the tabletop is gonna be the Amphilaire tabletop, which I will have linked down below. Plus I did go out and pick up some legs for this tabletop, which goes really nice with the setup as it does have a light finish to it. Plus the wood just feels really nice and premium. Plus it's also a very large desk. Located under the monitor, I did go ahead and place my Circa phone and pen stand. This allows me to go ahead and organize all my pens or any other junk that I have on top of my desk, I can just go ahead and place it inside of that cup holder. Plus having my phone in front of me at all times, I can see my notifications whenever I need to. And again, it just gives me that ease of use when accessing my phone. It's not just laying down somewhere, it's always in front of me. So if I do receive a call, if I get a text message, I'm just able to see those at all times. So having this phone and pen stand does really go ahead and organize the setup a little more. Also, while on the topic of organizing, I do have the Marshall Mini Tech Kit Organizer, which allows me to keep all my cables inside of this nice little pouch. 
Even when I need to travel with it, I can just go ahead and take it with me, place it in my bag, or when there are just cables laying on my desk, I'll have that inside of there. It'll just keep everything looking organized. I also did throw in a hard drive inside of there, so whenever I need to access it, it'll just be inside of there, and it won't lay around on top of my desk or just be somewhere in my room. To finish it up, I did go ahead and pick up the Tarnaby desk lamp from Ikea. So I've been using this desk lamp for a little while now. You've probably seen it in another video of mine. But again, it's a really nice desk lamp. It looks like a candle. And again, it just gives this nice illumination and mood to the desk setup, which I think goes really well with the light setup that we have going on here. So that'll basically wrap it up for this setup. Again, this is my take on a 15 inch MacBook Air desk setup. I've been using this for a little while now and I think it goes really well with the 15 inch MacBook Air. It allows me to get some work done when I get home, just plug and play, which is super nice. All I gotta do is plug it in and my MacBook is already on my monitor and just connected to everything that I have over there. So again, everything that I have shown in this video will be linked down below. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see y'all in the next one.